Did you guys know that I was married in 2014? Well, it turns out something kind of crazy has happened in the last seven, eight years, and I'm gonna share that all with you. But first of all, I wanna give you a massive thank you. Oh, I cannot express how appreciative I am of all of the support from that last video. It's been a long time since I've posted anything personal, that I've posted something so raw and honest and vulnerable. And I just wanna say thank you so much. It really meant a lot to me. I read through all of the comments and it brought tears to my eyes just knowing that you guys have my back. Like I felt so good just to know that I can be honest and I can be authentic. And that's really the reason that I wanted to do this update video. So you might have heard on the last video that I did, um, I was talking about breakups and moving and my green card. And I also kind of alluded to something that happened when I got married in 2014. And you can't even write this stuff. I'm like, are you kidding me? This is what happened. This is what's going on. So I'm going to share that with you. But I wanted to give you an update on Alfie. You might see that he's got a little bandage on his leg. And that's because he had his first chemotherapy yesterday. So I think that was the 30th of June. So it is first chemotherapy treatment. He did absolutely great. He seems fine. We have him on some different food just to give him like more nutrition. So it's kind of like it's basically human food. Like you could you could eat it as well. Um, so he's on that. And as you can see, he is very content and happy right now. So he's going through chemotherapy right now. He's also on steroids. So he has to have tablets in the morning and the evening. And then once a week, we are going in to have uh, chemotherapy. But he seems fine. And the great news is, is that he got some details back about his cancer. It's something called B cell and it's the most common and it's the one that you can recover, not necessarily to recover from, but you have the longest um, amount of time as well. So that's great news. So all of your prayers and all of your positive energy certainly helped. And if you guys know anything or if you're a vet or you know someone who's gone through this and you just want to put it in the comments um, and just educate me a little bit, I would really, really appreciate that. Because this is super unknown territory. I've never known anybody with cancer. I've never known any dogs with cancer. Uh, so it's just some super, un, it's, it's new and it's, I'm, I'm uncertain about it. Um, and I'm just asking for a friend. Um, so yeah, but he is doing fine. So again, thank you so much for all of the love in my last video. I cannot even believe what I'm going to tell you. And, you know, I thought about like, should I say it? Should I not? Should I keep it in? But you guys just made me feel so great afterwards. I was like, I got to tell you this because the reaction that I have been getting from people that I've been sharing it with. So my inner transformation program, my BTES coaches, I had everybody on Zoom and they could see my, they, I could see their faces. And I'm not kidding you. As I was talking about it and as I said it out loud, everybody went like this and then started laughing because you can either laugh or you can cry. So you guys know that if you watched the last video, I got my green card. And one of the things when you get your green card is that you need to find your divorce certificate and I, or if you've been married before, your marriage certificate. And I was married in 2015. I was with somebody for three and a half years. We got married and the marriage only lasted seven months. Well, so I thought. And we filed, I filed for divorce in 2015. And I thought that it was all closed and done. But guess what? As I was looking for my divorce certificate and I was asking the lawyers, they're like, oh no, your divorce never went through. So check this out, everybody. I have been married for the last seven years and had no idea about it. So it's been very blissful. We've had no arguments. We've given each other space. <laughs> you have to laugh about it. You can't even make this stuff up. And that was part of my two weeks where things were just going wild and crazy. And it was like up and down. It was like break up with a boyfriend. I uh, get my green card. Uh, then it was, I got to find a new place. Then it was, oh my goodness, you're still married. Then it was like, Alfie's got cancer. Then it was like, oh, you found a new place. I mean, what an absolute whirlwind. So yes, everybody, I am actually still married. And now I have found a lawyer and I've got to go and file again and go through the whole process. Apparently, just in 2020, they had eight uh, court appearances for us, but I had no idea. No one had got hold of me. Obviously, my address had moved. His lawyers had stopped working with him in 2019, so, and he's not been the easiest person to get hold of, and I think that he might be married to somebody else. So that just makes it a little bit more interesting as well. So I'm sorry for his current wife. Well, not actually current wife, because I'm the current wife. 
Um, but yeah, that is what I am currently dealing with right now. Um, and it is not a cheap process, so we're going through that, but I just wanna get it done. And I had no idea. So I've actually been married for the last seven, eight years. Um, <laughs> and so I've gotta go through that process. And last week I was telling you about a place that I was going to see. And I'm so excited to say that I got that place. There was a couple of other people that put in an offer, but I just knew it was the right one. So I went a little bit over the asking price and we secured it. I'm really excited. And even though that I am excited, I am, I'm really gonna find it hard to leave this place. And I know I spoke about it last time about not being attached to somewhere. This house is beautiful and it is gorgeous. And there is a huge backyard and you can see the ocean. And I'm so grateful for my new place, but it looks very different. It's about half the price because right now, what I've decided to do is I know that I'm gonna be traveling a lot in the next year. And I was like, I can either go for something really big again, or I can be smart. I'm going to Everest as well in 2022, which I'll be gone for two months. And I know that I'm just gonna be only here in California for 50% of the time. So even though it's a, you know, and I, I don't mean, I don't want this to come out as being like ungrateful and I'm so grateful for the beautiful place that I'm moving into. I'm just being honest with you that, you know, this is a huge property and the dogs have a garden and in the new place there isn't a garden. It's on the first floor. It's a two bedroom uh, like apartment. It's really cool. It has high ceilings. I can't wait. If you want me to give you a tour of it, I would absolutely love you to. Maybe I could also film a tour here as well and you can kind of see the difference but it's about half the price. And I have been clearing out all of my closet today and all of the things, and it feels so good to actually downsize all of my stuff because I have so much stuff. And I was like, it's just stuff. And I really feel that because I was holding onto it, that it was allow not allowing me to keep on moving forward. So I have literally chucked away 70% of my clothes while I'm giving it to charity, I'm giving it to my team. I'm just gonna downsize and I'm just gonna be in this amazing, beautiful new apartment. It's gonna be so much fun and I'm excited to start traveling again. And this house has been perfect for the time period. You know, during COVID, we've hosted retreats here. You know, I've been able to have a great experience. So now I wanna save up some money and buy a house. You know, I wanna come back and actually buy this place too. Um, okay, so there's other things happening as well. I have this amazing event coming up and I really wanted my parents to be here. I'm hosting a big party and event. It's like the last weekend that I actually live in this house. And unfortunately, my parents still can't come over from England. And I'm gutted. I, I'm going to be real and honest with you. And I know that there's so many people out there that feel the same, but I am gutted. I am gutted that they can't be here. They are never going to see this house. And we're still hoping, like, fingers crossed that something changes. But right now, the borders are still closed from the UK to the USA. Um, so I won't be, I won't be seeing them. Um, and it, it does hurt. And I'm sure that there's so many people out there as well. And I'm, I'm just gutted. But my brother and his wife are coming into town. Uh, so I'm excited to see them. My brother has never been here. Has he been here? I don't even think he's been here. Maybe he has. I don't think he's been here. God, I can't even remember. Isn't that crazy? This world has just been like absolutely bananas. But you know, I'm just so grateful for this community. I wanna be giving you lots of life updates of what's happening in my life. Uh, there is some things happening right now that I do wanna share with you, but just in the right time. Um, so that is coming up as well. And I'm just, I'm so grateful for you guys. Like you just, ugh, you have no idea like how it great, good it feels to be open and honest and just share with you what's going on. Because I was like, you know, this is kind of icky and you know, Alfie is sick right now. and. I gotta move house and I'm sad about moving house and I, I'm always so positive. I'm like, you know, I'm gonna make the most of it. Like I'm super grateful for this new place. Like it's beautiful. And I'm also wanna be real with you and say, I am sad to leave this house. Like it's, it's, gonna be, it's gonna be a transition, but I know that there is amazing things on the horizon. I know that we have got some incredible things coming up for you. Um, and it's just a moment of time until, you know, I'm back into a house like this. So if you've ever felt like that, when you're like, oh, I feel like I'm taking a step back. Does anyone else ever feel like that? I'm like, oh my God, I'm still married and I'm moving out of a house that's different. Um, and that's not as, you know, not as, I guess as you can say, it's not as nice as this one. And I think that's open and honest to say that. And that sometimes we feel like we're going backwards, but we're not. We're just taking a step to go forwards. And that's how I'm looking at this whole transition. Um, you know, through my breakup, 
it's not been you know the easiest um it's just been I know that they're going to have to come in and pick up their stuff. So I've been dividing things up. I've been moving their stuff over to one side of the house and I haven't seen them um, up until this date that I'm filming this video, which is the 1st of July. And, you know, I just, I'm not sure if I'm ready to see them. I don't know what the interaction would be like. I mean, like, what do you say to an ex? Like, is there anything even to say? Like, hi, how are you? This is awkward AF, right? But like, what are you supposed to say? So we'll see how that goes. I know that they want to see me, but I just don't know if I'm ready. Um, I don't know if you guys have got any advice about that. Like if you've gone through a breakup, but I just feel like for me right now, um, if it's just a meeting, just the two of us, it's going to feel uncomfortable. That's not what I'm, I'm, I want or what I'm ready for. Um, so that is a little update of my life, what's going on right now. I did find the place. Alfie had his first treatment for his chemotherapy for his cancer and I'm currently married. So I will keep on updating you because there is more things I want to share with you as time goes on. And you know, I was so worried about being judged. I was so worried about like, oh, is she moving on too fast? How do, why does she feel so good about this? But you know, as long as I can be open and real and honest with you, we're going to have an amazing relationship. And I'm going to feel like I want to keep on sharing with you guys because you mean so much to me. And I want you to know that on the outside, yes, it looks like all great and amazing. Um, but sometimes in the inside, like I, I have been struggling and I have been really unhappy and I, I would, there's so many things that I want to tell you guys, but I, this, the time is just not ready right now. But I am so happy and I just want everybody else to be happy within themselves, with around the people that they're with. Um, and just know that your, your happiness is the most important. Like, not what somebody else thinks that you should be happy, not what other people are judging you on, like what you should do or how you should live your life. But like, you should be happy doing what you love and nobody else can take that away from you because you're the person inside that knows that you are happy. Um, and yes, I am gutted that my parents can't come here. It is, it's hard because I haven't seen them for 18 months and I don't think I'm gonna be able to see them next week and I'm putting on this big party and I really wanted them to see this house. But you know what? It's okay, everybody's safe, everybody's good, but it's okay to feel sad. You know what I mean? It's okay to be bummed out and just be like, oh my goodness, like I wish that they could be here. Um, but it's okay because Alfie is looking good, Penny, my girl over there. How you doing, Penny? Um, and you guys have just been the biggest support. So I'm going to keep on going. Oh, and I didn't even make it to Colorado. Like I was supposed to be on a training trip for Everest as well. I was supposed to leave today. In fact, my flight was like in an hour. Um, but that's not going to happen um, because the weather wasn't the right conditions for what we're going to do. So that got postponed. But honestly, I am absolutely freaking exhausted. I need to sleep. When we were in Boston, I had 13 and a half hours sleep during that whole event. But it was unreal. Like oh my goodness, like just meeting you guys in person and giving you cuddles and hugs. And then we spoke about it. You know, I spoke openly about the, the marriage and not being married. I mean, not being divorced. I actually spoke about it a little bit at that event to a couple of people. So it was really nice to be able to connect and do that with you guys. Um, and the event was amazing. Like, thank you for those people who showed up. We're going to be doing a world tour with four pools as well. So there's going to be so much more stuff coming. Hopefully it's going to be around the world. So hopefully that I'll get to meet you guys in your countries too. So Again, from the bottom of my heart, we love you so much. Um, let me know your thoughts about like, oh my goodness, I can't believe she's still married. Um, but I just wanted to keep being open and honest with you because you made me feel so good um, from that first video. So I love you guys so much. Um, please hit that subscribe button if you're liking these videos. If you want more live updates, trust me, there's more crazy stuff happening. You can't even write this stuff sometimes. I'm like, oh my good, like, is this my life? Like, what is happening? Um, maybe I need to do like a story of how I got to the USA. It's actually something that happened um, prior to me coming out here, which I don't think I've ever really shared publicly, or it might be on my first podcast episode, but I've never shared it on YouTube. So if you want to know the real reason of how I got to the USA, which is a pretty crazy story, like you can't even make this stuff up, then um, I'll make a video on that um, because it is pretty wild and it was involving newspapers and paparazzi and all of that crazy drama too. So if you want to know the story of how I got to the USA, I'm, uh, I can share that with you as well because now I just feel like I'm in a really great place and I want to share it with you. And you can probably tell by my energy. A little bit different to last time. Last time I was a bit more sad, I was a bit more mellow, um, but I'm feeling good right now and it's 
honestly, it's because you guys just make me feel incredible and I got so much support. I was like, okay, I need to do another video. Like, they did like it, they did like it. Yay, I'm so happy um, that you just accepted me for me. So we love you so much. Again, subscribe to the channel. Um, like this video if you like it. <laughs> um, and we will see you next time. Bye, everybody. Say bye, Abby. Bye. Ha, ha, ha.